So I guess I've been on a bit of a video, a video kick lately. I wanted to document this phone. I'm, it's a, I'm actually friends with the person who owns this one. And we talk maybe two or three times a year. And he, um, he's one of the few real friends I've made in the, the real world of the, of the payphone industry, or what's left of it, that is. This is an outdoor phone, but unlike the overwhelming majority of outdoor phones in New York, it's not owned by City Bridge. It's independently owned. I consider it somewhat questionable in terms of legality or uh, uh, somewhat rogue is a term I use. I should really come up with a better word for it than that, but um, like if you look at this information placard, this is supposed to contain contact information for the owner of the phone so that you can contact them if, you for instance, oh, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> Well, wasn't that magical? My little work gets interrupted by a real-world payphone user, proving to any naysayers out there that people really do still use these things, and for legitimate purposes. Okay, he looks like he's finished his conversation now. Um, feels like something that I got that on video. Well, that was interesting. Um, so let's get back to work here. This phone, I believe, gives you uh, three minutes of call time for 50 cents. And unlike a lot of phones, there's a, that's a hard limit. You can't keep putting coins in to continue the call indefinitely. It connects not by landline, but by uh, some cellular network. And uh, the owner of this told me once that it makes about a buck or a buck fifty a day. Now when I said I uh, keep the payphone industry at arm's length, I, I have made a few acquaintances and amicable connections. Um, the owner of this phone is one of them. I once in a while hear from somebody at PTS, Pacific Telemanagement Services, which is the largest payphone service provider in the U.S. And I had an, a, an email correspondence with Dennis Novick, who used to own TCC Teleplex. He was quite a character. He really was. I was sad to learn about a month ago that he died from, uh, well, we don't, they didn't say, but you can't help ask if it wasn't COVID. He was an older guy. He was quite a character, though. He'd been a sculptor. And that's where he made most of his money, I think. And I was once, I did once attend a meeting of the um, Independent Payphone Association of New York, which was one of the oddest encounters I've ever had in my entire life. And I suspect, in retrospect, I shouldn't have even gone. Some of the folks in the business really don't like me. I don't really know why, except I guess I do sort of call them out for when they're not doing their job right, when their phones don't work or whatever. But other people find me perfectly okay. That was a very strange meeting for me to be at, though. Yeah, see, this uh, this one says 25 cents, but that's not that's not true. So there's 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 enough wrong with this phone. <laughs> um, that sticker looks like a remnant of the we need more payphones person. Somebody, I haven't seen it lately, or I haven't seen a new one lately, but um, somebody had been going around sticking handwritten stickers on payphones everywhere from all five, some, all five boroughs I saw them from Coney Island to uh, 
Riverdale to Corona, just everywhere in between. I haven't made it out to Staten Island, but whatever the case, it's quite an impressive bit of uh, OCD. So uh, I had said earlier that City Bridge owns virtually all the, the outdoor phones in New York, and that's true, but the one I posted earlier from uh, from outside of Queensbridge, that's also outdoor, but this is something I've been meaning to research. I think somebody told me once that the zoning rules outside of NYCHA properties are different than other parts of the city, and for that reason, PTS is allowed to have an outdoor phone in that space, but I, that's something I've been meaning to research. It, it might also explain why you'll probably never see Link NYC kiosks around NYCHA houses uh, if, that, if the zoning rule thing is true, so I've been meaning to research that. Forgot to do what I do, just leave my payphone radio calling card here. <laughs> 